Hey there people, so this is a quick test uh, trying out the new Fujifilm X-H1 uh, and thanks to Fujifilm Japan for loaning us this unit so and here <coughs> we have the V6 2 Mark II uh, that supports XSS and now with the XTTL firmware it now supports TTL as well and what I'm gonna do, let's first switch on the camera and the V6 II uh, since it's Fujifilm so you will see that um, the letter F pops up and right now I have it on channel 1 group A is turned on and here I have RF60 that's the original flash so it's the, it has the older LCD um, and that's also set in channel 1 and group A but right now you can see it's manual but that's because we haven't sent any information over once we adjust this the dial you will see that it will change to TTL so that's just plus 3 and once information has been sent over you can see that now it's TTL plus 3 on this side so um, for basic tabs, I'm gonna place the flash here and I'm gonna shoot those boxes in the background. And in terms of camera setting, at four, 125th of a second, ISO 400, and I got um, auto focus. So that's the shot. It's pretty well exposed, I would say. And we can't. Oh, that's already plus three. But let's go back to the original standard with no exposure adjustments. And I think that's all right as well. And of course, we can, since this supports HSS, of course, we can push it up, let's say, to a thousand of a second. As you can see on the beautiful display on the right here. Let's check. Yep, I think that's all right as well. Just for one image back. Certainly it is brighter on this one. I guess, but it's not that underexposed uh, at all, I suppose. Of course, you can go lower uh, back to say 60 of a second and you can take a shot. Yep, so I think that's pretty much. Uh, identical to the that shot there so and I should also show you the firmware that we installed that's the fuj.1.002 and on the flash here I think you can I'm not sure if you can see it beep sleep backlight Oh, you can't see it from the main menu, but you, what you could do is just to hold down the next button and switch on the unit and you can see that's 205. So that's the one that's compatible with the FUJ.1.002. So uh, of course we can try again and then of course, besides TTL, you can just press that one and go to menu power and you can adjust the power. Oops, hold on. Yep. So 16 power, I think it's pretty bright. Maybe even that would do, I think. Yup. And of course, on the flash here, of course, it will also show the menu settings here so i think on the x h1 both ttl and hss is working quite well of course you can go back down to ttl and of course as soon as you adjust settings on the camera it will show and pop up the information here uh, of course that also applies to zoom range on when I adjust the zoom here and the zoom lens information also changes right there so let's take another shot that's in TTL mode so 
So it's pretty exciting trying this new camera and I hope uh, you guys will also have fun using the H H1 with Fuji film, a uh, from Fuji film with the Cactus V62 and of course the Cactus RF60 or RF60X. Thank you.